President Trump focused on jobs in Wisconsin this afternoon. However, the threat of a nuclearized North Korea still looms large for the Trump administration. Craig Boswell has more details from the White House. President Trump arrived in Kenosha, Wisconsin, where both supporters and protesters were on hand. The place he chose to speak once had a thriving manufacturing base right across the street. Those jobs have now moved up the road, leaving only the headquarters in its place. I think Kenosha is a good symbol because we are. We no longer make things. And at one time, we were a factory town. Inside the Snap-on Tool headquarters, the president signed an executive order to bolster protections for American-made goods and called for a review of the H-1B visa program for skilled workers. In short, this order declares that American projects should be made with American goods. Vice President Mike Pence is also talking about jobs during a trip to Japan, but it's the threat coming from North Korea that's dominating the talks. The vice president emphasized that diplomatic and economic pressure is the best way to neutralize North Korea, but he says all options are on the table. We will protect the peace and security of this part of the world and achieve our shared goal of a nuclear-free Korean peninsula. North Korea tested a missile Sunday, but it blew up on the launch pad. Still, a top official in Pyongyang is promising weekly missile tests. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House. CBS News has learned that the USS Carl Vinson, which the Navy had said was heading toward the Korean Peninsula, has not yet begun sailing to that region.